Hi, I'm Dubber. I'm the director of Music Tech Fest and welcome. This is the MTF podcast. Now, it's that time of the year when we want to bring out those really inspiring stories. If not quite, it's a wonderful life, then at the very least, it's a really fascinating life. And the life story we get to bring you this week from the interview stage at MTF Stockholm is that of Nebusha Stanjovic. Nebusha was born in a place that doesn't exist. He's worked with Miss World, the Dalai Lama, Elton John, Nelson Mandela, and Tina Turner. He's been the subject of a 24-part nationwide reality TV show by himself, and after escaping a war in his home country, found himself sailing solo around the world, looking up at the stars, and deciding to swap his ocean craft for a spaceship. He spoke to MTF's Andy Swan about his upcoming trip to the moon, and why he's taking us all with him. For real. Enjoy. Okay, so um, welcome everybody for, I think this is the final talk of the day. Um, So we have a guy with us now, Neb, welcome to the stage. So thank you. what I know about you, your name in full translates to not afraid. So you had a background in tech and music, or music tech. You gave it all up to sail around the world. You then ended up with a project called Synergy Moon, and you're one of five finalists for the Google X Space Prize. Um, and you're also involved in something called the Human Synergy Project. We have 20 minutes. Where do you want to start? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Cool. Well, well t- uh, let, all right, let, let's go straight to the moon. It's, it's, you know, it's getting dark out there. It's that time of day. So tell us about, about Synergy Moon. Tell, tell us what it is. Uh, ten years ago, Google X Prize uh, started this competition, which is like uh, for a private uh, space uh, for a private companies uh, to land a rover on the moon, make 500 meters, and some to to go 500 meters, send high definition videos and data and everything. Then you win like 20 million dollar prize. And when I saw that, it was like, wow, why not? But. Uh, before that, I was sailing around the world and, and on a small sailing boat in the middle of the Indian Ocean. I was just like to, how say, to, to, to change ship for the spaceship. So it was really good thing because I always wanted, you know, uh, uh, I always wanted to go in space and it cost 20 million dollars, like uh, uh, space tourism. To find 20 million dollars was a little bit difficult at that time, so I was just uh, looking how can I do it for free. And then I say, okay, let's... Let's give Google X a go. Yeah. See if we can win it. I find it... Uh, no, uh, no, no, not in that way. No. Let's find the, let's find the rockets. Let's find... Mm-hmm. You know, uh, let me do it in a way that I can do it in a completely different way. Uh, th- that was my initial, initial uh, thing to do it. But then uh, it really took 10 years, and I never, I never imagined that, uh, that we're going to end up in a finals and none of... <laughs> None of these big things that happen later on. So. Uh, absolutely. So, so, so you, you gathered a team around you of, of experts? Uh, yes. Uh, first, when, when I applied for that, I had uh, my team of experts, which was in my, in my head. So all, all the team was in, inside of my head. Uh, like schizophrenic, but not in a bad way. <laughs> so these are people you already knew, or you had to go out and No, I know, I know each one of them okay, in excellent. my head. But then, uh, really, uh, you know, it was very simple. Uh, you need a, if there is a, such a task, you need a rock, uh, you need a lander, you need a ro- uh, rover, you need the rockets, and then you say, okay, I gotta find all these people because 30 years I've been going around the world and I meet, I meet, uh, I met so many people who could be able to do something like that. Then I just fill the gaps. So then after that, uh, I assembled the, the team. And, uh, and and we really end up to be one of five finalists. And when I say one of the five finalists, uh, the difference between my team and all the other teams, we, it was a uh, Japanese, uh, Hakuto from Japan, from uh, Israel, from USA, uh, and one more uh, from. Uh, from India, okay. but all of them, they had like uh, hundreds and h- unlimited funds, hundreds of millions of dollars, and they were all backed by, uh, for, for national pride, 
You know, we put an Israeli flag or Indian flag or Japanese flag. And I come from Yugoslavia, which, you know, once upon a time used to be a country, like a fairy tale. I come from there, so I said, okay, let's put this, but from all around the world. And we end up uh, last year in the National Geographic, they really uh, put a good, uh, good name for us. It's like conglomerate, conglomerate. I never, I never learned that word. Con, yeah, conglomerate. <coughs> yeah. yeah, and this what, uh, that, that, that's what we end up to be. It's really putting the people from all around the world to create the same thing, and it works. And uh, for me, was uh, that uh, to, insp you know, if I can do it, look, but really, if I can do it, <laughs> everybody can do it. I think don't under, under, underestimate how much of an inspiration you are and, and what you've achieved. Um, so, so tell us, I mean, this is su it's super exciting, you know, for, for anyone who's listening, and, and people are here, you know, creating hacks and creating ideas that may shape the future, and you're, you're proof of somebody who has said, I'm going to make something happen, and you're making it happen. So, so tell us what happens next. What, what's the next stage of, of the Google X? Yeah, will, will your project get launched, or do you still have stages oh, yes, to go? Yes, yeah? yes, yes, yes. Uh, that uh, that uh, Golden X Prize was uh, just a uh, catalyzator uh, and good uh, PR, because Google was behind that thing, so, so it was really good. <clears throat> but uh, the whole thing is, uh, it's, uh, Look, uh, like when the internet started, uh, not internet, but the World Wide Web, when it started, the same people are behind this uh, private, uh, private space business. So it doesn't matter what I know. I'm just looking what Elon Musk is doing, you know, what, what my friends, because I know lots of them because I was hacker back in the 80s. So I was just following what they were doing, so I, I just did the same. Amazing. And what, what's Packing along. <laughs> Perfect. Best way to do it. And what, what's the time scale from here? How does the project develop? Uh, uh, next year. Uh, it, it's supposed to... Uh, initially, it's supposed to be like uh, by uh, two, uh, 2012. But because uh, when the, the competition started uh, in the same year, that was 2008, uh, was uh, this big uh, financial crisis and all market crash and, blah, 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 and all these things. So it's slowed down. Uh, now, uh, Google removed themselves for like putting the money in, but uh, I mean, uh, it's not about comp uh, competition. It's, uh, it's really like a space business. Uh, but the other people, the other teams and all the others, they are, they are there for the business, with the business plans. Uh, let's mine the, you know, helium tree and this, all these things. And I want to bring art, you know, I want to bring art, you know, I want to do, uh, I want to make sure that once we start doing this space exploration, that uh, art, you know, that, that common, common people and this what really counts is also presented or represented as much as everything else. Amazing. So, so I guess that probably keeps you, keeps you very busy. Um, like, 24, like 24 hours a day for, 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 for 10 years. Uh, I, I, nobody, uh, I, I really ne never knew it's going to last for 10 years. Yeah, uh, because of my team is from all around the world, so time zones are like mm -hmm. that, and we were really, my wife is here. Uh, and, and she know that, you know, uh, we were working 24 hours a day, so there is no day or night or anything. Last six months, uh, four months, I had a time to a little bit relax. But really, li little bit relaxed. But before that was really 24 hours a day. Wow, incredible! But but then I guess you're dedicated to it, and, and you care so much. Oh, so yeah. you're you're happy to do that work. Oh, big time! Amazing. So so yeah, at the same time, you you have another project going, the Human Synergy Project. Yes. So so t tell us about about that and how it sits in parallel. Uh, look, it's the same thing, but you, you you can tell me. You know this book that you wrote. Uh -huh. uh, human. Uh, well, you've done your research too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like CIA, you know. <laughs> uh, this is how I find all the other people, you know. and and and, and it is that, uh, of course, you know, I'm more interested in who you are and who all the other other people than who I'm. That, that doesn't matter. Uh, it's that that synergy, you know, human synergy. Uh, it's simple, simple, uh, simple uh, description on Wikipedia is uh, human synergies. If uh, there is uh, person A and person B uh, want to reach the apple, person A is uh, short enough, person B is short enough to reach the apple. But if the person A 
climb on, 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 a, on a shoulder of the person B, we can reach that apple, that apple is that synergy. So this is what I took it uh, as that. But also using that as a, as a human, you know, that uh, the, the right way to do it. So in my team, it was a little bit diffi uh, difficult in the beginning t till I find a way how to do it, that all this thing is, that it works, that it at wo that uh, evolve, uh, that everybody is happy. And uh, the, the, the another thing is, uh, two years ago, uh, when when they were tro when I when I end up to be in the finals, my team was in a fi uh, in a final. Uh, Sixteen team was out, so I just uh, just you know uh, that was on 31st of December. So just before the new year, I just call all the other teams who were thrown out. Say, okay, come with us. Because uh, by, 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 the, uh, by the contract, by the rules and regulation, I could collect them all. Because uh, everybody knew that they are not that they are out. So uh, let's say team from Malaysia, uh, the whole Malaysia, all Indonesia was so sorry for myself, like, so uh, fucked up. Because oh, our dream is down. This is dream is down. Everything, everybody's dreams is down. And then suddenly, like wow, we are back. And there's that. You know, that. Absolutely, that, that's the synergy, the, the lifting people yeah. up and co cooperation and collaboration to yep. make good things happen or to achieve something. Yep. So, so how, does that, how does that now work with, you know, with, with, the, with the Google X project, um, with the Synergy Moon project? How, how, how are you able to, to kind of manage that? Is, is it a purely, it almost feels like your project is, is designed for humans rather than designed for commercial gain or, or for any other, other purpose? Uh, from my personal? Yeah point it is like that on the other side it's, it's really a uh, very serious uh, very serious uh, uh, don't judge my project by how I look we have the, the you know the uh, Jim Cantrell who is the one who, who created Elon Musk SpaceX and everything yeah. you know in my team is are the, the best 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 uh, scientist best everything the one thing that I really wanted to put in is a uh, is uh, let's put art, let's put, you know, let's put everything else on top of uh, what we are doing as a business model. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's very, very, very important because uh, uh, without that, we're going to end up like it was a space race before that. Yeah. Uh, is it Russian or is it America? Who going to put the flag? So, so that this isn't about individual companies or individual countries having, having this race to achieve. Yep. Actually, this is all, about humans achieving all something. All eight continents, but really from all eight continents, uh, that's our team. The rest of them, they're really uh, national pride, yeah. which is really stupid. Yeah, I mean, what, why, why, what, what's the what's yeah, the, what's the of national no, pride? What's yeah. the point? Okay, uh, we, doesn't matter which country, you, you pick the country. I, I, I can use the names of the countries because I know which countries are there. Is it India or is it this one? First Indian, first Israeli, first, you, blah, blah, you know. Yeah. And uh, me coming from a fairy tale, I'm from fairy tale. When somebody asks me where are you from, I always say I'm from fairy tale. Fairy tale. Because, you know, once upon a time it used to be a country. Yeah. That was Yugoslavia. Yeah. And, uh, and I created, you know, if I live in a fairy tale, let's create this fairy tale. And it works. Yeah, and, and for, for example, if you know, to get a bit existential on you, if we are going to expand into space or we're going to, going to move out into the cosmos, then actually we're, we are one, yeah, we're a human race. We're not individual uh, countries. You don't go, okay, th this is you know, the USA on this planet. And you know, actually, we are, we are one race. We have to start thinking like that if we're going to achieve anything. Yeah, no, uh, uh, and only like that. And only like that, you know. Everybody else is putting that... Uh, Let's bring this for us, you know, America have to take this lead again. This one have to take this lead again. But if you want to go really in a space and colonize, I'm not, not colonized, but if you want to become a uh, multi-planetary species and everything, we have to go there. But you know what? If there is no some good music on top of that, fuck, it would be so boring. <laughs> you know, they're going to kill, kill each other, you know? Absolutely. So. So, so tell me, you're here, here at Music Tech Fest. What, what have you seen today that, that's inspired you or given you something to think about? <laughs> that, that's a difficult question. <laughs> that's a difficult question. Uh, uh, unfortunately, not uh, Andrew or Michaela is here to, to, to really extend my gratitude and everything. You know, people like that, it's the same thing that, that I do. Uh, they bring people together uh, from all around the world 
to, 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 to put our brains together and, and to do things together. And uh, also, uh, one more important, important thing is, uh, I brought lots of children and lots of unprivileged, you know, uh, unprivileged countries, you know, uh, because they're so smart. They're be you know, they're smart and they all of us together uh, from uh, Harvard or MIT or whatever. Uh, I, I get people from, from India who couldn't get it anyhow different, but they're really, really, the smartest, and it's kids, it's called Space Kids India, uh, from Bhutan, from Africa, from, from all the other countries. Uh, I lost my... Oh, we, we were just, just talking about what inspires you. I, I can hear that everything <laughs> inspires you. It's amazing. Um, and, and clearly you, you inspire other people. So one of the, one of the things where, when I was reading your, your kind of, your kind of write-up of yourself for, for the Music Tech First website, you said, come and, come and talk to me, but be, be, beware, I'll end up taking you to the moon. Uh, yes, uh, I, uh, I, I will take everybody, to, I mean, uh, not only on the moon, uh, on the moon presence that we can showcase from there. Uh, but another thing that uh, I'm also like a strategic partner with a company called uh, uh, Space for Humanity uh, with my partners, uh, with, with my partners, uh, there is a company, Space for Humanity, uh, that is, wants to bring people into space, you know, that you experience this uh, over, overview effect. Whichever astronaut ever went there, once you see the planet Earth, you change your mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, this is uh, only for the rich people. You know, ticket costs from 200,000 up to millions. Uh, this is something that, 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 we want to, uh, that we want to bring, so, so it's paid for everybody. The only thing that you have to do is like a three minutes video to say why, you want, uh, why would you like to do that? And uh, when you come down to become ambassador to, to promote, look, we are trying to make peace. Uh, actually, we, we are trying to provoke peace. You know, it's, uh, others are trying to provoke war. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to be honest, all of you are very aware that we are living in a fucked up times. It can be, you know, it, the, the, the war can be triggered. Cold war is nothing what is happening now. So we are trying to, to counterbalance that thing. Absolutely, and it's a very important, important thing to do for, well, for the sake of all of us. Uh, for, for the sake of all of us, for the sake of all the children and the children of future uh, generation, because you know, uh, let's not uh, fool ourselves. If we don't do these things, who will? Uh, absolutely. And now, now the the bad news is that that we've run out of time. But I think that's a really good point to to conclude on. Something for everybody to think about. Now, are you, are you around tomorrow? Are you here for the whole weekend? Yep. Fantastic. I think everybody's going to have questions for you. Everybody's going to want to know more about what you do. Um, C completely inspiring, hugely entertaining. Thank you so much for sharing time with us. Really appreciate it. Guys, we have a big round of applause, please, for Neb. Thank you so much. The incredible Neba Shostanovich. And that's the MTF podcast for another week. Thanks so much for listening. We're back next week, holidays notwithstanding. So you'll still have something to listen to again between now and New Year. And if you're winding down and having a break, feel free to go back through the archive for more fascinating talks from the MTF community. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.